Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to build the landing gear for our XL series models. Now this landing gear build is gonna be the same whether it's for our Simple Scout, our FT3D XL, and many other XLs in the future. Now although these XL landing gears are all built the same, you may notice some slight variations from model to model, specifically something like this with the FT3D XL. It has a hole in it and that's for the wing hold downs. One thing you can be confident of is that the steps will be the same. Also, for bending the landing gears, all the dimensions that we have will be exactly what we show you here. If there's any variations, you're going to see it laser etched right on one of your landing gear plates. Let's go ahead and get our landing gear blocks, our wire, our wheels, and we'll get started. Alright friends, we are now on to the landing gear of our FT Scout XL. We're going to have these pieces that you see here in front of me here. We're going to have our two very thick landing gear wires. We're going to have our doubler plates, and we're also going to have our center plate. This center plate is going to crack out to be two individual pieces, just like you see here. And these have etch marks to help us line everything together. The tools that we're going to need for this is going to be glue, pliers, a ruler, and if you have a wire bender or some heavy duty side cuts, you'll definitely want them. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to condition our doubler to be able to receive our landing gear pieces. To do this, all we simply need to do is line up our doublers right over top of the etch marks as you see right here. Once you're happy with the way it lines up, we're gonna put some instant glue on the very back of it. You can also use epoxy if you want, if you don't mind it taking a little bit longer to dry. One thing I wouldn't recommend doing is using hot glue. This is gonna take a lot of wear and tear, and a strong glue joint is critical. Cool. Once we're happy with the alignment, I'm gonna spread some glue on the doubler. I always like to spray the other side here with some kicker, then we can line it up and glue it in. All right, there's one side. And same process on the other side here. Just gonna line it up, make sure that we have the orientation proper. Spread some glue around. Throw some kick around there. And then set it in place. You're gonna see that this gives us a nice cavity for our landing gear wire to be able to notch down into. This is gonna be really important to give it plenty of strength. We're not going to glue the other side on because now what we want to do is we want to bend our wire to be able to match up with our doublers that we have here. So for bending our landing gear, each landing gear leg is going to have two unique measurements. The first one is going to be at 2 inches and the second is going to be at 9 inches from that 2 inch mark or 11 inches. And our last mark is going to be 2 inches from that. We're going to do these measurements on both of our wires and then we're going to go to our bench vise and we're going to bend both wires into shape. Now that we've measured the first landing gear wire, we're gonna to go to our vise and we're gonna bend the landing gear wire in the shape that we need. Once we have that wire bent, we're gonna bend the next shape to match it. The only difference is we're gonna add roughly one eighth of an inch of length to account for the fact that one wire will stack over the other wire. Now that we've bent both of our wires, we can trim the remaining excess wire off, leaving enough room for both the wheel and two wheel collars. All right, friends, we have everything bent here. Again, I'm sorry, this incredibly thick wire is hard to bend, but a vise in just a little bit of time We'll make it work every time. Also, a Dremel cutoff wheel is also your best friend if you don't have huge heavy duty side cuts. Now that we have these placed in here, we're gonna take our last remaining wood piece here. We're gonna lay this over, make sure that it firmly fits down all around here. And after we check for that fit, we can open this up. I'm gonna put a nice layer of instant glue right down over the wire. Plenty of room to dry here. And I'll spray the other half with some accelerator or kicker. And we can lay this down right over top, line up all of our edges, and then press down. Hold this for at least a minute, let the glue fully dry. You can also take a weight or even a vise and clamp it together. Now that our landing gear plate is dry, let's go ahead and take the included wheel collars, a 1.5 millimeter hex. Tighten the first one down here, just at the very edge. We'll slide our wheel on, and then tighten it down. Same process on the other side. We're gonna tighten the first one down here, just at the very edge. We'll slide our wheel on. All right, our landing gear is now done. We're ready to install this into the FT Scout XL. All right, friends, now that we have our landing gear built, our next step is to install it into the fuselage. You're gonna see four hash marks on the bottom of the fuselage, and those are gonna line up with the relief on the doublers below. We're gonna go ahead and use our straight edge. We're gonna cut straight across on both these lines, 
And what we should be able to do after that is be able to slide in our landing gear and then we'll glue it down. A simple rocking motion is all we need. And the landing gear fits right down in place. Now it's up to you if you want to glue these in or if you want to leave these so they're removable for later options like our future eventual XL floats. So friends, by now you have your FTXL landing gear all built. We're ready to move on to our next video in the XL building process. I'll see you there.